Hey, Rusty here and welcome to the game creation using your phone series. Today we will randomly spawn a new object, animate it, add movement, and game physics. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and press the plus sign to add a new game object to this. In here we can load this bird, but as you can see there are three birds to choose from of it flapping its wings. Once we load the bird we can click on the I button on the top, click back on the plus button, and this will add new images for this object that it can rotate between. Next we want to change the playset locations to random. So under playset, click on a value, ch at edit formula, choose random value location. This will allow the bird to start spawning at random points in the screen between the numbers that we set in the X and Y value random fields. All right, now let's animate. In here you want to add a control forever loop, and then in here add a looks and go to next look. This will change between the images that we've set for the bird. But this will change it really fast, so we want to do another control and add weight and set a timer on here to slow down how fast the image has changed. Like the hot air balloon, we want to scale this down to a size of 40 as well. Now we want to create a new event when scene starts and add another control forever loop in here. In this loop, we're going to add a motion for gliding. In here, we can set the value to three seconds as well as random points for the bird to start randomly choosing and gliding between, just like we did in our spawn point. You only want one forever loop at the bottom of any event that you have. Alright, now we want to give the bird a motion type. We want it to be able to fly, so we want the motion not to be affected by gravity, but we want it to affect other game objects. Alright, in the next tutorial we're going to add it so that it has sound and when objects collide, the game ends. 